lessons from this man who came to you. And like him, we don't come with any fanfare. We're not boasting about anything we've done or any position or any rank. Not offering any favors to you or offering to buy anything from you. What do we have that you don't already have? But boy, do we have needs. We sure do need your help. We've run out of options. We've run out of solutions. And we have a mother here, Father, who's separated from her children. And we have a young couple here, Father, who's, whose crib is empty and womb is empty. They so desire to have a baby. And they, they look around and see people having babies who don't even want their babies. What this couple would give. And they don't quite understand, Lord. And it's a long way from Cana to Capernaum. And we have a, a businessman who's doing his very best to keep his company afloat. young people, Father, who are the only believers in their classroom. And everybody else, Lord, everybody else is doing what they do on these television shows and movies, and they're just, they're just riding the current of what everybody says to do. And yet here's a young man and a young woman trying to do their best. It's just all they can do, Father. bodies are just running out, running out of strength. We, we have a lady here, Lord, who's, who's concerned about her brain. She hears all these reports of Alzheimer's and dementia, and she's thinking she's next. She's praying for help. Oh, how many are our requests? How is it, Father, that you can hear all of us at once? We come by faith. Come by faith. And now, Lord, please speak. Just speak. Please. Please. We're not demanding. We're requesting. Just speak a word of hope. It's just, we're just hungry. We need hope. We need your word. We need to hear you say yet again, I'm with you always to the end of the age. We need to hear you say yet again, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. We need to hear you say yet again, cast all your cares upon him, because he cares for you. We need to hear you say again, that all things work together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Speak the word. Speak the word. What you said to that man, would you speak to these your servants, your children? Speak the word. Tell them. <coughs> Maybe they don't need to hear your son will live, but they need to hear that your career's not over. Your marriage isn't finished. Your life isn't done. Maybe they just need to know us. There's reason to get up out of bed tomorrow. That you're going to walk us through. And that your love for us is not less than it was yesterday. And that you are a good God. A good God. So Lord, open up the heavens now. And just drench us with hope. Drench us. We're not going to raise any umbrellas. We're just going to let you soak us with hope. Boy, do we need. And we receive it, don't we, folks? We receive it. We receive the hope of the Holy Spirit. We receive the work of the Holy Spirit. And we believe that our life is going to be better now because we ask for help. And even though the road from Cana to Capernaum is long, we're going to keep walking. Amen? Amen? We're going to trust. We're going to believe that something good is about to happen. And for all we know, the servants are going to come running toward us any minute now and say, your son will live. You're going to get a good report. And if they don't, tomorrow we'll just keep walking. Maybe they'll come the next day. And we do believe that something is waiting on us in heaven that will make all of us seem very, very small. Amen. 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 So as you go back to your seat, may you do so with head held high, stronger back, stronger legs, happier hearts, brighter smiles, and may you sleep well tonight, knowing that your heavenly Father loves you. Thank the Lord for his work.